Hey guys, today we're looking at RDU0002 internal error, and that has to do with the SD cards. Um, in a lot of the newer servers, you have these dual SD cards that you can actually install like an OS on, so like ESXi, and then you got two of them because then you do like a RAID 1, uh, and then so if one SD fails, you can replace it. Now in this instance, this server is brand new, we just set it up, um, and it's asking for that module. So let's go ahead and open up the server. Let's turn, turn it off, unplug it, open it up, and let's install this module to get this iDRAC error code uh, cleared up. Okay, you guys, like I said, this is running uh, ESXi. So we're in the console. We're just gonna go ahead and shut down so we can safely power down this server. So shut down. And then we'll just wait for it to shut off and then we're opening up and install those SDs. All right, it takes a little bit longer, but the server is now powered off. We still have that orange light, but as long as you see the green light off and the green lights off all on the hard drives, you can tell the server is now powered off. We're gonna go behind the server rack now. It does have redundant power supply, so we're gonna unplug both of these. And now we can safely slide this server out and put it on the workbench. All right, you guys, so we have the server uh, now open, and you can see our two SD slots are empty. There's that device. So let's go ahead and install our two SDs. And like I said, you don't need this module. This is only if you want to install ESXi on this little module or you can do other things with it. Um, that's the main, main uh, case that I've seen. Um, so we got those SDs in. Let's go ahead and boot it up and we should see no errors. And if we do, we have to go on iDRAC and clear those. So let's boot the server back up now. Let's put the lid back in and put it back in the rack. All right, so if you boot your server back online, it's gonna ask you if you wanna have the SD card replaced and rebuild, go ahead and hit Y and wait for the rebuild progress to get done. And then we should have blue lights on the front and we'll check that as soon as this is done. All right, the rebuild is now complete. Now let's go to the front of the server and see if we have a blue light. And we do have the blue light, so we are looking good now. So now we don't have to go into iDRAC and clear it. Sometimes you can clear it right here from the panel um, but sometimes you have to go on iDRAC and just clear it out of the logs and then you should be good going forward. But if you don't have the blue light, then that's what you have to do. But that's how you clear that error code, you guys. I hope this video was helpful and this was for a Dell R220 server. Um, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.